Hey there guys, Ectomaster here. We're back with another edition of Ask Ecto. Now, what is this episode, or what are these, this series about? Basically, you send in questions to containment.gaming84 at gmail.com, and I answer them. Now, if I don't get any questions, then I just pick a, a topic, an idea, or something, and I just run with it. So this week, I didn't get any questions yet, because, well, we're only one episode in, and this is the second episode, so we're going to talk about my interests and why I'm interested and probably the three biggest things that I have shown interest in. So let's get down to it. Let's go with question number uno. Hello, hello, Ghostbusters. Okay, so why do I like Ghostbusters? Well, uh, this is another thing, kind of like with my prosthetic, we have to go way back, way back to the 80s. Uh, there was two things that I brought up on, and actually there's a, a, a t-shirt that I said that I had wanted, um, and I never got, but I should have gotten. And the t-shirt said, I grew up, you know, watching Turtles and Ghosts, and I turned out fine. And yeah, in the 80s, there was two cartoon shows that I lo absolutely loved, and that was Teenage Mutant <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters. So, as it goes, you know, I grew up buying watching those and I had no problems. At least fine as a relative term. Um, I grew up watching Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters. I watched the movie. I saw the second movie in uh, the theaters. I have vague memories of actually seeing it in theater with my dad. Um, Mainly, the big thing that pops out to me is when on the, the screen it says five years later. That's what I remember the most. Uh, coincidentally, I was actually supposed to be born about the day that it came out. And um, actually, I showed up early because um, I wanted to watch the movie. I knew it was going to be a hit. Um, I grew up, you know, it, it just it kind of cemented my life. I wanted to be Peter Venkman or Ray Stans or Egon or Winston. I wanted to do that. They were just regular guys. Yeah, sure, they were intelligent college guys. But I wanted to be... You know, they were regular guys who put a particle accelerator on their back and took care of the ghouls and ghosts and all the bad things that frighten kids in the world. And they took care of them. And they just they locked them away and you never saw them again. I wanted to do that. So I grew up with it. It, it had kind of ingrained in my mind. It kind of shaped who I am a little bit, because not only was I, I, I not only did I want to be a Ghostbuster, and I, 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 as I grew older, I knew it, it, it wasn't going to be possible. I'm not stupid, but uh, I, I kind of shaped my my ideal my ideology of ghosts and the paranormal and life in general kind of stemmed from my liking of that and to the point that um, even in high school we had to do what is called at the time uh, I don't know if they still do it or not I'm, I'm, I'm not sure but it was called a senior exit and what you had to do was write a paper you had to pick an argumentative topic write a paper about it make a product off of the paper and then present your findings to a panel of judges who would then judge you and, and each step along the way and give you a score. Now, the highest score you could get was 12. Uh, that was four points in each step. Um, the lowest was a non-scorable, and, you know, that, that was just... Ugh. And you had to, in order to graduate, you had to have at least a minimum of a six. And I ended up, I graduated. I mean, I got a seven, because I can't do papers. I, the topic I picked, which you'll hear in a moment, there was no product I can make. But damn, can I talk to people. Especially about stuff I love. Um, what it ended up being was parapsychology, the study of the paranormal. Uh, it should be taught in high schools and colleges more as an elective science. Because uh, it's just as good as any other science out there. And my panel of judges agreed with me. But that just shows you... I had that, that ideology, that whole look on life and from one little movie 
that featured that little guy. Well, not featured, featured, but this little guy was in it. I could get the safe up that I have, but then you're staring at my my boobies, and I don't I don't think we all want to see that. Anyways, why Ghostbusters? Why not? Uh, I could have just as easily fallen in love and did with Ninja Turtles or Transformers or anything else like that. Um, and it just it kind of I'm almost indebted to it because of how it shaped me. That's why you've seen me go on tirades on Twitter about this upcoming movie that I want nothing to do, and I'm not going to get into it because if I get into it, then it's just going to be all ranty, and this is not going to happen, so no. If you want to see me get into it, and you can send me a question about it, and I will get into it. But I think I've said enough about Ghostbusters. Let's move on to question number two. Okay, question number two. Why so much fanboying over Blizzard and War World of Warcraft? Um, to kind of put it simply, World of Warcraft blew me away. Um, to understand why I'm such a huge fan of Blizzard games and everything in general that they do, we have to go back, excuse me, we have to go back to what I did before World of Warcraft, gaming-wise. I mean, I can go through my whole history of gaming, but I'm not going to. Um, coincidentally, one of the oldest games that I own is somewhere in my closet is a, a copy of Ghostbusters, the video game, uh, for the Sega Master System. No lie. Anyways, um, MMOs were something that was new for everyone when it first came out, and didn't really, I, I didn't really know much about them. Um, the, the first one that ever really kind of caught her eye, and I, excuse me as I looked this up, was EverQuest, and my dad was actually the one who got into it first, and he was like, hey, he had friends who were playing, and, and it came out in 1999. Now, Consider this, I will be turning 31 this year. Uh, 1999, uh, by the time this came out, uh, I had not hit 15 yet. So I was just going into high school or just started high school. Um, my dad had turned around and said, we need to check out, hey, we want, we, we got to check out this game. I said, okay, what game is it? And he played it out and it was EverQuest and absolutely loved it. I didn't get very far in it. Um, like all my other games, my brother kind of started taking over my account. I just, I hate him for it. it. It's just kind of funny. Um, he actually plays on my old uh, Warcraft account. <laughs> Excuse me, but we're getting there. Um, but I had a, a level 17 rogue uh, wood elf or half elf. I can't remember. Some kind of elf. Uh, named Tadar. I just remember, I don't know why I picked the name Tadar, I just, Tadar. Um, we, uh, I had played him for a little bit, got him to 17, I was excited, boom, I was 17, this was amazing. And then I had a necromancer, and I didn't get very far with her because she was evil, and nobody wanted to help her and let her do th fun things, so I, I kind of had to, but I loved it, it was great. And then I started playing Star Wars Galaxies, and that was great. And that's where things started getting interesting. <coughs> not before, not long before World of Warcraft came out, but uh, Star Wars Galaxies had an expansion pack, and it allowed you to fly in space. It was kind of cool. It was like the one element from Star Wars that was missing in the game. And what ended up happening was... I remember the day World of Warcraft came out. Now, what's of interesting to note, and I'll get to this in just a moment, is that I, I had never heard of Blizzard prior to this. But I'm in Naboo. Now, in Galaxies, in order to get anywhere, especially your heavily populated areas, you had to look down. If your computer could not handle the amount of people that were in, a in the spaceport of any area, you had to look down at the ground, navigate through with the mini-map, and then once you were away from everybody loading in, could you look back up? I do that on Naboo. Now, Naboo was the mo one of the most heavily populated areas on the server. I look up, and there's like 10 people standing around, and it was peak time. I'm like, where, where, where is everybody? I'm like, oh, didn't you hear the new uh, MMO came out? World of Warcraft. That's where everybody went. I'm like, World of Wawa? 
what what is it what is this thing I was like well I have friends that are heading over I might as well check it out I mean what the hell I have been playing that game since 2004 there has been no other game that I could turn around and say every day I log on and do something with that game every day I I spend up my 50 cents that I put towards this game. And I am very glad that I do. Because it is a fantastic game. And that's where my fanboyism comes in. Is that I never had to... I've never had a game like that. I never played Warcraft, Warcraft 2, or Warcraft 3. I knew nothing about the lore. And... I jumped in, started playing, had a road, got past level 17 where I was in in uh, EverQuest. I was like a level 33. I was like, oh my god, I'm loving it. And then that road just stopped. And uh, I stopped for a little while as my brother took my account again. Um, got a new account just before BC. Started playing again and took off ever since. And here I am. I've got three... Level 100s, uh, working on Terran, of course, so uh, she may not be number four, but <laughs> working on her. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. It is probably one of the best games I have ever played, um, even to this day. I just, there's nothing that can supplant it. It is absolutely phenomenal. I think Blizzard, so that's why I love it. It's just, it's a game that got me going, got me into it, and I just can't get my claws. I, I, they've got me. They hooked it themselves into me. And every game that I've played with Blizzard, I have enjoyed every single one. So that's why I'm a big fan of Blizzard and World of Warcraft. Last but not least, question number three. And probably the biggest question of them all. Okay. What the hell with the ponies? I, I know. Again, this has to go back to a few years ago. I, um was talking to my brother and he turned to me and he said dude you have to check out the show I'm like oh show what show are we talking about he goes my little pony friendship is magic and I looked at him like seriously <laughs> what the hell and he goes no 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 you don't understand you have to check it out I'm like dude it's it's my little pony he's like no, no, no forget that that is not what you need you have to check it out. It's like, and and the same reasons that I give to everybody else. It's like, look, Lauren Faust, who who started started it and who left after the second season, um, or just before the second season, um, Lauren Faust, who started it, did Powerpuff Girls and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, and two of two shows that I didn't grow up with. Like uh, Foster's came after after my quote unquote run. Um, but Powerpuff Girls, I was like, oh, I love Powerpuff Girls, oh, great cartoon series. Um, to have that, and just, it's like, okay, look, look, I'll get the first two episodes, and I'll watch. And, because they were part one, part two, I was like, you might as well just watch the full hour. So I got it. I was like, intriguing, they, I was expecting, you know, sunshine and rainbows and, and tea parties and, yeah, sure, sometimes you see something kind of like that. Like, they'll go out to a picnic. But then there's times that, like, they'll go out to the picnic and one of them is having a complete freaking meltdown. And I don't mean, like, oh, no, I, I, I stamped on some things. No, like, a mental breakdown. And she causes chaos in, in the process of it. But go, Twilight. And then he's, he's, like, he also says, you know, like, the main character, like, her name is Twilight Sparkle. I'm like, ha 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 He goes, there's a Doctor Who pony. There's a pony whose eyes are all wonky and they call her Derpy Hoops. And I'm sitting there going, why didn't anybody tell me about this a little bit sooner? So, why the ponies? It's it's fun. It's great. I love the show. I don't try and force it down anybody. I really don't. I, I throw like the little cartoon of like, like ta the pony Terran. I mean, come on. It's just because it's fun. But I'm not going to sit here and go, No, I need to watch ponies now. I'm not doing that. That's, that's, I don't need to do that. And I think that will do it for this week, guys. That's it for Ask Ecto. We'll be back a little bit sooner next week. It's been a little crazy week for me. Um, send those questions again to containment.gaming84 at gmail.com. 
put in the header or put in the title Ask Ecto. Send your question in. Um, you can leave questions down below in the comments if you would like. Um, of course, we start getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions. I, it's, it's hard to sift through. That's why I prefer sending the emails. But go ahead and you can send that. You can send that email out to. Uh, that that would be great if you do that. If not, then leave a co question in the comment below, and I'll try and check it, and try and remember and write it down and save it for next week. But until then, I will see you guys next time.